When it comes to tractor horsepower, how do you know what you're actually getting? What you're paying for? Hi, I'm Scott Schulte for John Deere. It's a rather simple formula to determine horsepower. The trouble comes when different manufacturers use different approaches. During the so-called horsepower wars of the 1960s, every car maker wanted to offer the biggest and most powerful car. They'd do everything they could to change the equation, removing anything that would reduce torque and RPMs, power steering pumps, air conditioning, even water pumps, just to get a bigger horsepower number. Pretty clever. Trouble is, that's not how people bought cars. No power steering, no air conditioning, no water pump. Today, some tractor manufacturers are being clever with the horsepower numbers. They might report horsepower based on higher engine RPMs. RPMs, higher engine RPMs, more horsepower to advertise. But in most cases, you wouldn't operate your tractor at those higher engine speeds. Sure, your PTO powered implements will run and run hard, wearing out your implements gearbox and drive line and tractor much faster and burn a lot of fuel to boot. That's why John Deere rates horsepower at PTO rated engine speed. That's the speed the manufacturer recommends when you're running your PTO powered equipment. That's where you want real usable horsepower that's right for your equipment, your tractor's engine, and gives you the best fuel economy. So the next time you compare tractors and horsepower, make sure you know the horsepower at PTO rated engine speed. Or you could just get a John Deere. It's really the best solution. John Deere, all the power you pay for, it's worth looking into.